Looks like we're ready. First things first, this is a game like no other. Here, the only thing you need to know is each other. Okay, if you're all ready, let's start our journey right now. What happens when you go for a trek into the woods without a massive colony of obedient fireflies? I'll tell you, you get lost. I'm gonna ask a question now. Which one of you is gonna be the answer? If you were all lost in the wilderness, who would you blame? All right, who's it gonna be? Remember, the more of you that agree, the more points you'll get. All right, five seconds left. And now, for the fun part. Uh, two of you are in points here. Let me know when and we'll keep rolling. Who'd insist on holding the map? All maps produced before 1960 just depicted imaginary lands dreamt up by the artist. I think we have an answer. Points for all who agreed. We have a new leader. Who would love the freedom of being lost in the wild? Suits me, I'd just start a cult. Probably only have a few berries and a marmoset as followers though. You got the vibe of someone who might want to go riding land crabs with me one day. Let's explore you further. This next question is going to use some pictures that I picked up along the way, so just bear with me a moment. What would they look like after a day lost in the wild? Okay, you just have to pick the image that best answers the question. Uh, the more you agree, the more points you win. Everyone wins on this one. I gotta say, seeing everyone agree like that warms my heart. I'm giving you guys an extra joker. Now this next one requires a certain degree of creativity. I'm gonna give you a background picture and you need to add something to it. Draw their temporary shelter. Now, I spent a month in a banana plantation once. Those leaves will protect you from all weather. I came out with a real empathy for the plight of green grocers, monkeys, and caterpillars. Just under 40 seconds to go. Just 30 left. Twenty seconds to go. we got
Five seconds is all. Nice use of a joker there. You guys can have an extra joker for being so in sync. Well, we've got a two-way tie at the top. Okay, guys, this one's real simple. I'm gonna slap down a photo, and you all need to do an impression of it, and bing, snap yourselves doing it. Mimic this picture. Hurry up, there's only 10 seconds to go. Okay, time to unveil your impressions. Wow, it's a two-way split. Toot toot to the two that threw down jokers. We have a true natural born leader at the front now, but for how long? All right, nicely navigated. Let's see where we're going next. Time to get some cotton candy and an underdone hot dog as we go to Funland. I'm gonna give you all an extra joker now. Okay, you know the drill. I ask the questions, you tell me who it is. Who is most likely to make out with a stranger at a fun fair? Let's see what you picked. Here's some points for everyone who agreed. Nice scatter shot of jokers there. Who'd pass out on the teacups? You know, the teacups for teacup rides are stolen from elephants. Dude, you rule. Who thinks that to hook a duck, you must first think like a duck? That phrase comes from an ancient and wise Chinese Zen master on the day he licked one of those toads that gives off hallucinogenic toxins. Okay, guys, only five seconds left. Two of you get points for this one. Who'd spend the entire day in the Hall of Mirrors? Looks like we've got our answer. And it's a split vote. You all get points for that one. Now for someone whose quiet conscience is so beguiling, we need, nay, must explore more. 
Now, time for another picture question. Which attraction would they spend all their money on? Let's see what everyone thinks. Oh, so you're a social animal. Quite a lot of points going around there. Now, for this one, I want all of you to step into this person's shoes. I'm gonna give you a sentence and you write down what they'd say next. Well, my idea of fun is to... Time to start putting those finishing touches on. We've got 30 to go. Okay, let's see what you've come up with. Pick which answer you think is best. Let's see what you thought. Hey, listen. Sometimes it's good to be alone with your thoughts. Just saying. Just one person tossed in a joker, and just one person doubled their points. Let me know. This next game's all about your inner doodler. So one of you is gonna take a photo of someone posing, and then you're all gonna draw all over it. Draw them as a fairground fortune teller. I had my palm read once by someone who, ironically, didn't have any hands. She used to practice pyromancy, the art of fortune telling by simply gazing into a fire. And one day, when business was a bit slack, she used the downtime to toast a couple of marshmallows. Well. She lost her footing on a twig and, quite by accident, lunged both hands into the inferno. <sighs> there was nothing that could be done for her. All right, let's see what you've all done. Let's see what everyone thought. Oh, all right, everyone maxed out. I gotta say, seeing everyone agree like that warms my heart. I'm giving you guys an extra joker. Time to go now. Don't leave your goldfish in a bag behind. Leave those regrets behind, guys. We're off to a New Year's Eve party. I'm giving you another joker now, but use it quick. We're nearly out of time. Here comes the next question. Who'd get 
way too excited at a New Year's Eve party and pass out by 9 p.m.? Samoa, an island in the Pacific, gets New Year a whole 19 hours before Chicago. What have they done to deserve that? You guys know the drill. Points to everyone who agreed. Who'd have an existential crisis as the clock struck midnight? The clock striking New Year really is the moment to take stock of your life. In 1989, I decided not to become a farmer. What did you go with? Points for two of you there. Who'd have broken every New Year's resolution by 1 a.m.? This should be good. There is a lot of agreement on this one. And here's some points for the folks who agreed. Can anyone stop the front-running baby-faced assassin from grabbing the glory? As everyone else seems to have a handle on you, I'd like to ask a couple more questions and see if I can get my handle on you, too. If that's okay with you. Let's do a picture one now. Where would they most like to spend New Year's Eve? The guy with the glasses secretly hates everyone he's with and wishes he was the guy on the sofa. All right, five seconds left. Let's see the results of this one. Two pools of right, right there. Full points to all. Drawing time. I'll give you a picture and you guys finish it off. Draw their party hat. Your standard conical party hat fulfills most of the main criterias in life. You can fill it with fries for Kona fries, food. Then you can fill it with a cooling beverage, drink. Then you can pop it on your head and partay in hedonism. Forty seconds left. Thirty seconds remaining. There's about twenty seconds to go. Let's see what you've drawn. Pretty much all of you had the same idea there. Points for all who agreed. Okay, shall we move on? Time for some face acrobatics. As before, I'll give you a photo and you have to replicate it. Mimic this picture.
All right, guys, come on. Ten seconds left. Five seconds is all. Cool. Let's see what you got. It's only the rest of our lives. Let's live! Live! Hold on to your chairs, guys. We've only got time for one more, but it's a real beaut. You're all gonna take selfies and turn them into masterpieces. Uh, don't take them too close now, or you'll have nothing to work with. Seeing something you like? Yeah, well, when you're ready, we can get drawing. Steal yourselves now. You're about to receive someone's selfie. Check out the picture and get thinking about what you're gonna do. We're about to start. Make it count now. We're gonna be switching it up soon. You've got about 20 seconds left. Okay, sharpen up. 10 seconds left. Okay, guys, only five seconds left. Think you've done enough on that one. Time to mix it up. As you can see, it's on its way. Take it in and get ready to sprinkle some magic. Twenty seconds to go. Okay, 10 seconds left. All right, five seconds left. This is the final shuffle, guys. Make it count. Okay, guys, work your magic. There's about 20 seconds to go. All right, guys, come on. 10 seconds left. Five seconds is all. That's it. Let's take a look at what you've all created.
<laughs> A nice boost for everyone's score there. Time to check the final standings. Walking sadly at the back is someone who has almost certainly color-coded their DVD collection. In third is someone who cannot look at a silhouette of two peaches and a cucumber without seeing something rude. Sorry, pal. Even your superhuman social skills weren't quite enough for the win this time. Hell, you may spend hours online looking at toy dogs dressed as firemen, but who cares? You've proved that you really do know people. Congratulations. Thanks for playing. I hope you had as much fun as I did. All right, you ready to go for a little ride? Now, before we begin, you guys need to pick yourselves a card and write in your name so I know who's who. And that should buy me enough time to jimmy the locks on this thing. Take your time, guys. This is gonna be a lot of fun. When you're ready to continue, let me know. Cool, looks like we're ready. First things first, this is a game like no other. Here, the only thing you need to know is each other. Okay, if you're all ready, let's start our journey right now. Okay, nosy types, now's your time to shine because we're talking about neighbors. Okay, time to start with the questions. These are real simple. You just have to tell me who the answer is. Who'd always have to one-up the neighbors? Time to choose, people. Now, the more people who agree with you, the better you'll do. I hope everyone's sure about their answers. Here's some points for everyone who agreed. Who'd deliberately leave their bedroom curtains open? I didn't have bedroom curtains for five years. I was regularly awoken by dawn. She had to get up shortly after, though. Just about done now. And now, for the fun part. Everyone get some points. You guys can have an extra joker for being so in sync. Ah, it's all change at the top. Now I get the feeling that you're an outstanding leader with a sunshine smile, but I need to make sure. Ah, cool. 
for this next one, we're going to be using some pictures. How would they react to a new neighbor? Go for whichever pick you think's the best answer, and remember, you score more when you agree more. The phrase, there's always one, clearly does not apply here. Look at all those jokers working for you. I feel like, no, I won't say it. This next game draws out your inner artist. I'm gonna slap down a picture and you need to embellish it. Draw what they're looking at through their binoculars. There's 40 seconds remaining. Thirty seconds left. Twenty seconds left. Just 10 seconds to go. Okay, guys, only five seconds left. All right, what do we got? I think we have an answer. Quite a lot of points going around there. Time to find out who's the mimic in the room. I'm gonna show you guys a photo of someone, or something, and you have to photograph yourselves imitating it. Mimic this picture. Okay, 10 seconds left. All right, five seconds left. All right, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, I guess we know who has control issues. Think we know who not to live next door to. <laughs> Let's go.
It's been a while, guys. I think it's time we got back on that horse and get ourselves an online dating profile. Looks like you've all earned yourselves a shiny new joker. All right, so same as before, I ask the questions and you tell me who's most likely to be the answer. Who'd have the most tragic online dating profile? Apparently, prospective dates don't want to read about the time you accidentally punched a parrot and all your money fell on the ground. You guys know the drill. Points to everyone who agreed. Yeah, bit of a mixed result for the jokers there. Who'd use the most misleading profile pic? Yeah, for two months, Roscoe had a picture of him holding a machine gun while dressed as a sausage. Let's see what you picked. And it looks like two of you scored on this one. Who'd feel like they had to date everyone who asked them out? Points go to two of you. Who's about me section is brimming with innuendos. I love it when I ask someone for an innuendo and they give me one. Looks like we've got our answer. And here's some points for the folks who agreed. Okay, I'm starting to get an idea of what you're about. Let's dig a little deeper. Here's another picture question. What hobby would attract them to another's profile? Let's see what everyone thinks. Big points for the group. I gotta say, seeing everyone agree like that warms my heart. I'm giving you guys an extra joker. This next one's a writing challenge. You have to tell me how this person would finish this sentence. People click on my profile because of my... You've got 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds left. Time to see what you all wrote. So, which answer is the best? Let's see what you thought. Points for all who agreed. Okay. We're gonna play a game now where we doodle all over photos. So first, one of you needs to snap someone striking a pose. It helps if you really get into it. So come on, up on your feet, people.
draw their internet dating profile picture. I thought the best thing to do for my profile picture was to get my friends to draw different sections of me. You know, like that game where someone draws a head and then they fold it over and pass it to the next person, etc., etc. I went online with a carrot for a nose, the body of an elderly man, and a single pig's trotter. You've got about 40 seconds left. Thirty seconds remaining. Twenty seconds to go. Okay, sharpen up. Ten seconds left. Just about done now. Time to see what you've come up with. Let's see what everyone thought. Everyone wins on this one. You guys can have an extra joker for being so in sync. Swipe right, swipe right, goddammit. Okay, guys, uh, tap your feet and I'll count you in. We're getting musical. Think I'll give you all another joker now, but bear in mind, we're nearing the end, guys. All right, question time. If you all started learning an instrument today, who'd give up first? Okay, guys, only five seconds left. What did you go with? Hmm. Okay. What well, looks like that one applied to more than one of you. You all get points for that one. Who would learn the weirdest instrument? My kazoo rendition of Sympathy for the Devil is world class. All right, five seconds left. <laughs> this should be good. Here's some points for everyone who agreed. Let me know when you're ready to move on. Who totally suits the saxophone? Roscoe was the perfect sax player in our band, The Vinegar Strokes. Just about done now. All right, everyone maxed out. Wow! Man, that joker shines out like a lighthouse on the shoreline of the world's most oppressive coastal regime. I gotta say, seeing everyone agree like that warms my heart. I'm giving you guys an extra joker.
who'd be secretly amazing at an instrument and never talk about it. Let's see the results of this one. You guys can have an extra joker for being so in sync. Now it's time to hone in and really get to grips with our traveling Wilbury here. Here's another picture question. Which instrument suits them the best? I hope everyone's sure about their answers. Quite a lot of points going around there. Let's do another drawing. Just like before, theme the picture to suit the person it's about. Draw how they would decorate their guitar. This here is my first guitar, Cracker. Couldn't stand the sheer whiteness of it. Not its color, its target demographic. I can't play Muddy Waters on that, I urged my mom. Shush, darling. Finish your quinoa wrap, she replied. Just under 40 seconds to go. Thirty seconds left. Twenty seconds left. Just 10 seconds to go. Okay, guys, only five seconds left. Let's see what you've drawn. to all. I gotta say, seeing everyone agree like that warms my heart. I'm giving you guys an extra joker. Okay, imitators, time to shine. Here's another picture for you to reenact. Mimic this picture. Okay, 10 seconds left. Okay, time to unveil your impressions. we have an answer. Hmm, well, can't all be right. Or can you? Hmm. 
we won't get the A&R man in quite yet, but there's potential there. We've only got time for one more game, but you're gonna love it. You all need to snap a selfie. Not too close though, as you're gonna be scrawling all over them. Okay, y'all looking beautiful? Let's hit it. 